Hey everybody, how's it going? Drew here, and today we are going to be shooting some Polaroid Polychrome 35mm instant color slide film. It's a mouthful. Welcome to Film Stop. Now, for those unfamiliar, starting in the 80s, Polaroid developed a few stocks of an instant 35mm film. Now, I say instant because though it could be done at home by anybody in two minutes, there still is a little bit of a process involved. Polaroid actually made a few versions of this film. They made the Polychrome, a high contrast version, Pola Blue, which had a blue tint, and Pola Pan, which was a black and white stock. This roll specifically expired in September of 1990, which makes it almost 27 years old. It is a 12 exposure roll and ISO 40, and this contains the roll of film itself and the processing pack. So let's take a closer look. So this is Polychrome. It's an instant 35mm color slide film. To actually shoot this stuff, we need a few things. The film itself and chemistry, a Polaroid 35mm auto processor, and most importantly, the camera. So this is the processing pack. You can see it's specifically for Polychrome. Each stock that Polaroid made had its own chemistry. Here is the roll itself. For today's tests, I'll be using my handy dandy Nikon FG. The film itself is actually very thin and flimsy. If you take a closer look, it almost has a matte or satin-like finish to it. And like I said, it is ISO 40, but I will be testing it out at a few different speeds to test the results. Let's go shoot. So for today's test, I decided to ride up to the mountains and uh, see what I could find. I've got the roll of polychrome loaded in my FG. I've got a bunch of lenses. I've got some beautiful landscapes. It is 37 degrees right now. There is ice on the rocks over here. Uh, let's see what we find. As always with my tests, I'm rating this film at different speeds to see you know, how it responds best. The box speed on this thing is ISO 40. It's 26 years old, so I'm rating at a few different speeds. I'm rating it at 40, 25, and 12. See what I get. So that concludes this roll. All that's left is to uh, get this home and see if we can develop it. All right, it is time for the moment of truth. So we've got the processor and the processing pack. Knock on wood, uh, let's see what happens. We're gonna go ahead and pop this open and we wanna go ahead and drop the processing pack in here. Nice and tight. It snaps right there. We're gonna go ahead and insert this. Push that in. Pull this along. All right, lastly, we're gonna go ahead and close that cover. Make sure it's nice and snug. And we close this up. Here goes nothing. That's a good sound. Put this back up. Whoa. It smells. Let's see. If you have this thick, gunky black layer still on the film, go ahead and wash it off. Um, I definitely see some frame lines. Let's see if this does the trick. So if you take a look, after a few minutes of just washing that black gunk layer off with some warm water, there are images.
So after taking a look at the results, these are my first reactions. Definitely underexposed. I also probably underdeveloped by a few minutes given the age of the film. The negatives themselves were pretty dirty. Probably a combination of the auto processor and not having the film on a clean surface. So, Polaroid Polychrome. Is it practical to shoot on? Eh, maybe. Knowing what I've learned though, I would definitely try my hand at it again to see if I could get some better results. And the whole process of shooting and developing this stuff is a blast. An instant 35mm film. Who would have thought? Thanks for watching.